Good morning, everybody. This is Melissa Martini on behalf of designbundles.net. Today, we're going to be talking about adding photos to text in Silhouette Studio. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up the Silhouette Studio and type your text. This is great to do for a printable for your kids' pictures. And then we are going to go and pick our font. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the font Jonathan. It is made by ODS. It's kind of made for little superheroes, and normally it is $12. So we're just going to go ahead and type out our word, pick our font, and if you need to, go ahead and adjust the space between your letters by moving the character spacing around. Also, take your word and enlarge it to the size that you're going to want it whenever it is complete. And I will just move my letters a little bit closer to each other. Not totally touching, but pretty close. And then drag this out a bit. And then you're going to want to go ahead and ungroup your text. Okay, now we're going to select our letter and we're going to File and Merge and we'll find our photo that we want to put inside the letter. I'm going to use this one. This photo is really large, so I'll just resize it a bit so it will fit within the letter. And we are going to zoom in. And there's two different ways that you can do this. So the one that I'm showing you now is if you do not have Designer Edition, you're going to have to use the Crop Tool. So let's bring Mason's name to the front. That way we can see how the picture will fit within the name. So we'll bring the front. The picture will sit behind. And then we can resize the picture so we make sure that his face fits in somewhere in the letter a little bit. And then once we get it where we want it, you can play around with this a bit because you do want the whole letter full of picture. But you want to see a little bit of what you're trying to gather too. So now we're going to select the letter and the picture. We're going to go to Object, Modify, Crop. And then we're going to do that with each letter. So we'll select the A, the same thing, File, Merge. Go to our second image. Just going to back out of this just a little bit to resize that. And we'll bring this over the A. Send it back so we can see the A on top. Let's bring the A to the front. Okay, and then we'll just zoom in a bit so we can manipulate our image some. And I'm going to show you something fun that you can do in a moment as well with these images. So let's just put them about here. I do want to make sure I've covered all corners of the A. So, okay, we'll put them about there. And we'll go through and do Object, Modify, Crop Again. Now I'm just going to go quickly through the other letters and then I'll tell you some neat things you can do with these. Okay, so now we have all of our letters full. So if you go up to the top of your menu, open the fill pattern window. Let's just click on this one here. We're going to go to advanced options. And if you go down to the scale pattern, you can actually make it repeat the same picture over and over, which is really cool. So instead of just having one large picture of him, you can see so many. So this is a fun thing to do and it will allow you to see the picture a little bit better as well. So let's just click on this one and we'll do the same thing. And I'll go through and do each of these that way or you can leave some full size and just scale some. And then we'll back out of this a bit. So now whenever you go to print and cut, 
you have all of these fun images. And of course, you can still move your letters around a bit. So if you want to stack them a different way, maybe you want to make this a printable such as this, you can do that as well. So this is the way that you're going to do it if you do not have designer edition. Now, I'm going to start this over with our word again, and we'll go through the way that you can do it if you do have designer edition. Okay, so if you have the designer edition, what you can do is just do file, import to library, and you're going to import your photos to your library and just drag them over to your patterns folder. You can make a new folder within the patterns folder that is pictures or whatever you want to call it, or you can just leave them here in the patterns folder. Now, if you go over and select your letter, then go up to your pattern menu, the open fill pattern, and you're just going to find the photos that you just added to your pattern. So we'll go through and do this for each photo. It's a little bit quicker than doing the crop. And then you're going to go through like this one. You can see you can't see his face. So you're going to go to advanced options. And we have pan pattern. And then you could grab this little holder here and actually move over your pictures to where you want them to go. This one is fine. I can move this one over. You can scale the pattern as we did before, so you can make it larger, or you can zoom out, and it will just repeat itself multiple times. So this one I may want to zoom out a bit so you can actually see what he's doing. I'll pan the pattern on this one, just move them over a bit, and then maybe we'll scale the pattern or we'll leave that one. However, you could do so many different things, so that's what's so fun about this. And once you're done with all this, you'll be able to just print this out. So like that one like that. Let's just take this one down a little bit further too because it's kind of fun and super superhero-ish just like our font. Now another neat option you have here is to adjust the angle of your image. So if you go through and grab this red bar and you can click it around and you see we just move around in a circle. So depending on how you would like the image to be angled, you can play around with this as well. Might be fun to do that and then just Pan them over just a little bit. So all of these different adjustments just change the way that your image looks. So once you're happy with the images in the letters, just go ahead and group them together. And you can leave them like this, or if you want to, once again, like we did before, just kind of stack them in a nice, fun way. Or even up and down, like the other one. However you decide to do it is up to you, but when you have them all situated the way that you want them, just go ahead and group your letters together, and then you'll get ready to do the printing cut. If you guys have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.